Good afternoon, boys and girls. Thank you for attending today. As you know, three weeks into the year, we do like to start giving out some grades. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So, boys and girls, thank you for bringing your parents with you. I've got some good things to say and some uh, rooms for improvement. Let me tell those glows and grows around here. So today, we're, I'm going to give you your grades for the first three weeks, okay? And then I'm going to give you some, some glow areas and some grows. Now, glow means you're doing really good, guys. Grows, they need some work, okay? But I want to thank everybody for, for coming tonight. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first student I'd like to talk with today is... Um, Newt Bar. Oh, Newt Bar. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're paying attention for a change. Now, um, this year, your offense, um, it's done quite well. I've got you rated as a B plus. That's where you graded right now. Very good. Um, Matt Olson, Jordan Alvarez, Nolan Arenado, Adley, they're really carrying their weight for your team right now. They're really doing it for your offense, and, and you should be thanking them because without them, well, we don't know where you might be. I know I'd like you to be without one of those players, but we're not going to name whom. Now, you're pitching. Pitching as well. you got a B- in pitching so far. Now, some might wonder how can a team with a, a less than 500 record have that. Well, you've got Cy Gallon on your team this year. Now, for those of you that don't recall, last year, those that were in my class, we've got some repeaters. Um, I said Dylan Cease would be our Cy Young winner in one of the first videos of the year, and lo and behold, if he wasn't the Cy Young winner. So I'm going to go ahead go ahead and call him Cy Gallon. He's going to win a Cy Young for Newt Bar this year. But Newt, you've got a B-minus in pitching. So if uh, you had somebody else that could actually contribute in a positive manner, that'd be great. Love to see somebody finish their work and maybe get more than six innings. Um, also, the uh, the improvement I've seen this year in your team management, your slack board usage, that is such a good improvement. You've got an A-plus in that area. But by not trading a player who shall not be named to me earlier in the year, somebody that was part of you know, one of my many World Series appearances, I've got to give you... I've got to give you an F- minus right there. Now, you can easily turn that F- minus into an A+, plus with a simple click of an accept button rather than a reject button. But, but Newt Bar, I think you're doing great these first three weeks of the year, and uh, we look forward to checking your progress back just a little bit later in the term. All right, so uh, let's see. Who's next up on my roll here? Ah, yes, we've got a young Mr. Lean With It, Rock With It. Now, Mr. Uh, Lean With It, yes, I see this year so far... It's just an offense with a C, just kind of average right now, lean with it. And uh, the reasoning, I know I should not explain this to you, but I will. You've only got real two bona fide studs right there in Austin Riley and Mookie Betts. Aside from them, your work's just not carrying their weight. Those couple hundreds aren't bringing up those 60s and 70s you've also earned. So just, just get those areas of improvement handled, and I'm sure Mookie and Austin will, will help elevate the grade up to a B, B plus possible area. I don't, maybe not that high. Let's be realistic here. Let's go B minus regular B. Now you're pitching. That's where your solid B's at right now. Two weeks with a sub 3-4 ERA in this league in this day and age with the players that you have doing it for you is quite impressive. So I had to grade you on a slight curve right there in your pitching, but I did have you as a B. Quite impressive. If we can continue to see strives forward, maybe get that ERA below three and a quarter, three holes for consecutive weeks, we can get that grade back up for you. Um, also this year, I noticed you did some extra credit by giving away free Braves tickets. Yes, that earned you an A+, plus for no reason at all other than for uh, just offering those to your league mates. You got an A+. Plus. Um, unfortunately, one of your grades isn't incomplete as you're claiming to be, be able to beat the rookie. We haven't seen that yet, so I've got to give you an incomplete. We come back next time, you've done it. That's an A+. Plus. Come back next time you haven't done it, you maybe forgot, you know, to, to do what you said you were going to do. Forgot, well... I'm going to have to give you that F that you so deservedly have earned for not beating the rook. But right now, those are your grades. Lean with it. Quite, quite good work. Quite, actually, let's just say mediocre work. All right. So from lean with it, we're going to go to tight, tight, tight. Is that a typo? No, that's not a typo. Okay, that's the real name. Tight, tight, tight. Well, let's go ahead. Tight, tight, tight. Offense. I've got you at a B right now. Offense, you're at a B. No real standout monster weeks you've exhibited thus far. 
even though you've got Goldie and Belly and Devers and Swanson, you haven't really had that just wow kind of week that I've really seen yet. The first week, you know, the 10 day week, everybody was around 200 total bases, so that doesn't really do, you know, grab my goad like I like to have done. I'm gonna squeeze it right there. So right now I got you at a B. Um, pitching, slight improvement from that. Do you have yet as a B plus? You got a big blow up in week two, which costs you. You had a couple just 105s from weeks one and three. Just great ERAs, great pitching. But then apparently in week two, um, Corbin Burns decided to burns your team right there by doing so poorly for you. Brought that grade down overall. Should have been an A, but just substandard work from a couple of individuals in that group brought you down to a B plus. Got to hate quit. Got to hate those group projects right there. Um, but speaking of, um, you know, some good grades, let's look at your extracurricular good grade, and that's quitting administration. I have you done as an A quadruple plus on that decision. Best decision I could have heard somebody make right now. Nobody wants to be in administration and education. I know from seeing it with my own two eyes every single day. Um, I do have you here with an unfortunate F minus of losing a daughter to college and graduation. That stings. That hits close to home for me right there. Had to had to fail you right there because you know nobody likes to lose a daughter to college and graduation. Uh, quite the bummer right there. Quite the bummer in one regard. I could give you an A plus for being a good enough father to get her to college and graduation, but let's be real, that had to have been the mother. So just let's call it like it is. All right. So uh, good job, Mrs. Billy Baseball, in that regard. All right, moving ahead, we're going to go to our uh, World Series loser from last year, Dick Sack. Dick Sack. Now, Dick Sack got you in an A triple plus for offense. Yes, um, led the league in total bases two weeks in a row. Last week and off week, still managed to pump out 134 total bases. Um, I do have you in a pitching as a, a G? Oh, 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 God, looking at those numbers. No, that's not a typo. It's actually broken the grade scale. That pitching has been so, so, so bad. And looking back from your permanent record, I do notice that seems to be a trend for um, the Dick Sack right there. Just never a good pitcher. Um, Dick Sack, I do see some good things with your commissioning decisions of instantaneous trades, one-day waivers, adding extra moves when necessary. So you get an A-plus in that. Um, unfortunately, having Jay Cox say he's going to beat you and then beating you, that gets you an F-. I mean, somebody called out your manhood and you did nothing to back it up. That's an F- minus right there. So, a couple glows, like we stated earlier, guys. A couple grows, okay? So, try not losing to Jay Cox next time, Dick Sack. That'll be much better. All right, and speaking of Jay Cox and Dick Sacks, well, got to be talking about... Mr. Potato Head right there. So Mr. Potato Head, offense a B. Only one monster week this year. One monster week. And even looking at that roster of offensive players, let's be real. If you don't have Juan Soto, you don't have a real offense though. Okay? So Juan Soto plays badly. 202, 224 average, 300 ranked player. Your team ain't doing it this year, man. Your team ain't doing it. Um, But it might be able to do it. If this pitching keeps up, I mean, I've been so impressed with your pitching this year, Jaycock. You have got an A++ in pitching. The high, 304 ERA. The low, 1.8 last week. I mean, you got DeGrom, you got Stride, you got Cole. Those group project members, they did their work, and they turned it in on time. Extra credit, A++ on the pitching department. Now, I see over here, you got an A and a B, but missing the draft got you an F. Yes, an F for full of bullshit. Couldn't tell his woman he was going to a draft. Not really sick, full of shit. That's what I'm calling it. Like I see it right there. Jaycock full of shit. Um, A plus though. A plus and always busting everybody's balls. It doesn't matter who you are. Jaycock's going to bust your balls. So Juan, Billy, Cody, Thrills, B Green, Ant, Savdog, Rymar, Rywalk. Everybody's getting an equal ball busting right there from Jaycock. So I got to appreciate that about you, Jaycock. You never want to uh, let people not know where you stand. And hey, you really love someone if you're willing to bust their balls. That's the way I look at it. So he's got plenty of love for this league right there. All right. Speaking of somebody else who's got plenty of love for the league, we're talking about the champ of the league, the reigning defending champion. Two picks to the pizza box, one. 
Cody Nobles. Now, Cody, right now, sir, I see your offenses are in a B minus. Um, any sub 100 total base week automatically brings your grade down a letter grade. So you had 98 one week. Mm, can't even score an A, but I do have you at the high, high C, low B. I upgrade you. Are a champ, so you earn some extra credit. The dogs disagree. The dogs disagree. They are telling me right now, F that pops. He doesn't deserve that B. He deserves a C, but it's my grade, not theirs. All right, so that's okay. I mean, he's got Murph, Polar Bear, P, Judge, and Trout. I, I don't know how a team construct with those individuals could make less than 100 total bases. They sneeze and get 55 total bases, so it's baffling to the mind. Pitching, D+. Plus. D+. Plus. Once again, got the upgrade for being the former champ, but I got you at a D+. Plus. Yet to post a sub 4.5 ERA, but on the other hand, yet to post a over 5 ERA. Piddling right there between 4.5 and 4.99. Um, the reason, you got nothing. Your, your staff, it's just missing guns. You got Cy Cease. You got Kershaw, who's injured. Well, not yet, but he will be injured. So we just assume that INJ just stick with him forever. And Jose Ucurdy, like, I, I, I th I'm struggling on that team to figure out who's the other big gun right there. So right there, got you at a D plus. Flamingo shirts, though. That Flamingo shirt grade. Not a lot of people get that point, but you got it. You got an A plus on that Flamingo shirt grade. I got to say, nobody has the Flamingo shirt game that you have. Had to earn the A plus. Um... Do see, though, you had earned an F- minus here. Um, at some point, I believe, box suites were promised to the league. Uh, haven't seen those yet. Haven't heard back from that. Um, F-. minus. F-. minus. Don't get my hopes up and then crush them like that, all right? That, that's a bring down the grade, all right? That's like saying, Mr. Mack, I'm going to bring you some Mountain Dew tomorrow and then bringing me, like, code uh, orange or the white lightning or some other bullshit Mountain Dew. All right, Baja Blast. You bring me Baja Blast when you promise me Mountain Dew, and that's what you're doing here by promising me Braves box seats and then giving me nothing. Getting stuff for yourself through your hard work and your own earnings and such. All right, next up. Let's talk about one. Um, let's see, we got four players left, four people left to talk about. Let's go to the Rook. We're going to the Rook. We're going to Taco. Taco, first year in this class. Um, this is not the Esau class, but it's okay. You're welcome to be in here as well. Um, offense earned an A. A. First week I'm on a boat. This guy's over here just psh, 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 gotten bigger and questioning who's going to get more total bases. Now, in the end, didn't matter. I won, and it still, you know, burns me up to this day. Somebody would not think about that. Um, pitching, though, C-. minus. When you got to acquire Michael Kopeck in a trade... And Marcus Strodaddy via trade because you, you know, at the draft you didn't know what you're supposed to do because you're a rookie and nobody explained it to you because you just, you know, wouldn't take your free hundred dollars or whatever it may be, hundred fifty. Uh, let's let's not worry about the reasons why. Let's just worry about the fact you didn't get any pitchers on draft night and the fact that well your staff is lacking. So I got just a C minus, C minus. Being a rookie should have downgraded you to a D plus, but because you're undefeated, I didn't. I didn't. Um, I do see here that. You uh, slack board participation for a rookie, stellar, A plus material, witty, quippy, responsive, frequently. Those are four words that would describe you on the slack board. So I got to give you an A plus there. And you know what? Being a rookie and still in first place, plus ten points. Just throw, give yourself ten points extra credit anywhere you want to. I um other than picks, fixing your pitching, no areas to grow other. Then maybe put a picture on that, you know, Slack profile so I don't just have to see the, you know, Gennaro picture. Put anything you want. Put a taco. It doesn't matter. Put the person taco from the league, whoever it may be. It's all good. It's all good. But right now, great start to the year, taco. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you. All right. Next up, we're going to Larry. Now, Larry. Offense, D+. Plus. D+, plus, Larry. Sub 100 total bases in two of the three weeks. That's unfathomable in this league. We've got 12 batters going per night over seven days. That's 84 players on average, give or take. You know, an off day or two, so we're running down to 75. That's just like one total base per at bat, per or per game, per person. Not even per at bat, per game. Per game. Can't even do that in two or three weeks. Um, even had B. Reynolds start the year just cranking, and then B. Reynolds decided, oh, yeah, I play for Pittsburgh, and they're terrible. Pitching, two of the three weeks, sub 3-5 ERA. 
racking up innings pitch. Sugar Shane and Justin Verlander, when he returns, will do nothing but inflate that K per nine up even higher. Um, I got you at a B minus. Verlander comes back, does what he's supposed to do. You could elevate that to a B plus. You've shown a pension this year for finding those high, high leverage relievers that are going to mow some folks down without giving up runs unless their names are Jesse Chavez. Um, an area of note that made mention antagonizing and making fun of Anthony did earn you an A plus this term. Very impressive work right there. Nobody riles the big Ann up like you do. Um, I do have you here in PE and golf. You've made an F minus. Um, apparently, there's an individual that you are unable to beat right now, and until you can defeat him in just one round of 18 holes, uh, your grade cannot be elevated any higher than an F minus. So, just keep working on those things right there. All right. Um, I believe that brings us to our final two students of the year. Now, I did save these final two for last because I don't, I don't say this very often, but you've disappointed me. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lemonades and Ryan Klesko, to have to tell you that. But as your teacher or commish, I'm disappointed. You're both completely defeated on the year. 0-3, oh 0-3. And oh and One of you can hit, but not pitch. One of you can pitch, but not hit. Unfortunately, Ryan Klesko, right now, you've earned an F in all areas. Now, the pitching, if you got a victory, will el be elevated to a C. But for right now, being totally defeated, you've earned Fs in both areas. Nobody can pass without a win. I'm sorry. It just doesn't count. Um, I do say... Oh, excuse me. I do see a passing grade down here. And... Nope, nope. Sorry. That's just... no. Oh! Is that a passing grade? That is a passing grade for giving the league quality one-liners week after week a plus. Just like opposite of your team, why are they an F in offense? Because they can't hit the goddamn baseball. There's the one-liner and the reasoning for those grades all wrapped up in one single sentence. Although, you know, you've given the league quality one-liners, you haven't given the league any L's. So, in that regard, I do have you as an F in the giving an L department. So, sorry, Anthony. Uh, F minus an A plus, an F and an F still equals an F. I'll see you at summer school. And then, last but not least, lemonades. Um, looking at your team makes me feel like I have lemonades. Uh, offense, complete and utter disaster right now. Injuries, underproductivity terribleness, whatever it may be, F, F, F. Pitching, as stated with the other student prior to you, F, you're totally defeated. You cannot earn anything higher than an F, but there could be an opportunity for that. Just like Anthony has hitting to help him, you have pitching to help you. So maybe in the near future, you will indeed pick up your first W. Maybe it'll be as good as that. As you are in this assignment here, we're attending random sporting events. Whether it's a Rome Braves game, a Winthrop basketball game, or a College of Charleston women's lacrosse game, you might find Sav Dog there because he enjoys every kind of sporting event in every kind of avenue. What he has not done well in is actually winning one of those random sporting event like things known as fantasy baseball. I still have you as an F minus here, Mr. Sav Dog. I hope that will improve to at least a D plus after next week and possibly you picking up a victory. If we have to wait until you and Anthony play each other for someone to get the W, you guys will have Fs for a long time. But in the meantime, if there are no further questions for your commish from the uh, conference and grading section right there, no question about grades. I remember, I don't give grades, students. You earn the grades. All right. Until next progress report time, this is your teacher commish, Mr. Mack, signing off. I will see everyone in class. Oh, what do you know? It's 740. I'm sure you're all checking your class status right now. Have a good night. I'll see you later.